Well, hello there, my name is Elf Skipper and today we are going to talk about timer blocks in the part 3 of pistons, rotors and timers. I hope you will enjoy. So we have a timer block. A timer block is the hardest one to grasp in all of the examples with the pistons and rotors. This is the hardest one and I will try to go just by basics of it so you can just have an idea of how to use them and when they are useful and you will try to find your own ways how to use them. So this is a timer block. It can be silent and if, because it, if you put it on, if you start it, it is making like this little, this beep sound. It turns it off. It just basically turns it off. You don't want to hear it. And this is a delay and this is a setup action, which are the two most useful patterns that you will be using in the timer block. So what does the setup actions do? So setup actions, as you can see, if we press it, we have all, all blocks that are currently in our grid. And you have a toolbar, just like if you try to place a block on you are, or you sat in the control seat. And what can you put in here? So you can put everything. Like for real, you can, you maybe want this block to turn off, you want the antenna to turn on, you want this rotor to, for example, reverse, you want this engine to turn on and but maybe you want this uh, gyroscope to turn off or maybe you want the decreased power the timer block can do it all yeah it, it is ama it is amazing the possibilities are practically endless because you can set up everything and the perfect thing about it is that you can set it up to start another timer block so right now this first one after 10 seconds starts the second one and the second one after 10 seconds starts this one and this one after 10 seconds start this one and all, every each of them can have its own actions that it will do when it is activated and of course if you set up actions you maybe want as you can see you have nine actions that we can set up in this one go but you can also have other toolbars so it is a lot of things that you can set up in this timer block we also had delay uh, what does it do? So if you set it up and press start, as you can see, time to trigger, it sets to 23 seconds right now. And after this 23 seconds, it will do everything that we set it up to do. So the setup, we go into setup actions and after this 12 seconds, it will do all of the things that we told it to do, which I don't want right now. But you can see it works this way and it might be very, very useful. For example, the, the one simple example that you probably all can do in your base and it's very useful you have a timer block which in setup actions has two doors which are set to close and to start itself again after the action is done and we have doors and we have doors and you have a friend who doesn't close doors and maybe you don't want to close doors as you can see after five seconds yeah after five seconds the doors are automatically getting closed and you can make a group with all of the doors in your base and it will one one timer block and close all of them at once which is perfect if you don't want to close them as you can see we have a drill and why is this drill very very useful so we have a timer which has a seven second delay and after that time it will turn on and off this drill so if we have a if we if we have a like this drilling machine this is drilling crane and we don't want it to work all the time because, for example, we have only one refinery and it uh, it cannot keep up with with the amount of stone that you are getting. So we basically can have this thing, which will turn it on. And for example, if we set it up to, for example, 30 seconds and we add this timer block here, like another another timer block. So it will start the drill, then it will start this timer block and it will shut itself off. We don't have the uh, timer block drill to start, but we have this one, which will turn it on again and it will stop this one. And as you can see, it, it's mind boiling. I hope you, you do understand it. But basically you can make one timer block activate stuff and activate another timer block and after some time for example we can set this second timer block to like two, mi two minutes after this two minutes it will stop this timer block and stop drills and you have another like pause 
time when the drills don't work. So it might be very, very useful in automating a lot of stuff. And another case scenario that I found can make a trap. Yep. I mean, maybe don't do it with doors and do it with something more useful, like for example a turret in here, which will uh, come with the piston. But as you can see, we have a timer block, which has uh, the shortest possible delay, which is one second. And we have doors to close, both of them, and the start to start itself off again. And we have a sensor, which is set up action is to start and stop timer block when somebody moves in and out into the zone. Yeah, so we can you can build some simple traps if you want to. As you can see, timers blocks have a lot of options in, in, in them. There's a lot of things to do, but you mostly have to find it yourself. I feel like people mostly do with them some advanced setups. For example, if you want uh, like the automated factory, this is, this is the way to go. You can use some scripts, but you can also use timer blocks and it should work. But also, you know, the drills, maybe even uh, like a landing with your drones or something like this. Maybe you want a timer that uh, that makes the elevator move up and down. You can all do it. You can do it all in the timer block. And I hope this tutorial helped you in some ways. And you will know more stuff right now than you did before you watched it. So thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one.